Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle Mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly John so that you can have some sense of purpose in life, just like me. Praise the Lord. I pray that today morning, let your homes be sickness-free, disease-free, and you are living under the open heaven and experience all the heavenly blessings in your lives. James chapter 5, verse 13. In Amplified Bible, we read like this. Is anyone among you afflicted, ill-treated, suffering evil? He should pray. The Greek word for this afflicted is not translated as sickness or diseases, but it is translated as troubled. If any one of you are troubled, afflicted, he should pray or she should pray. So here, um, usually it is, a, it is our tendency when we are in trouble, we call up somebody to pray for us. It's not um, wrong, we need to call, we need to pray. But here it says when you are afflicted with something or you are troubled with something, he should pray. So. In other words, we are the people wanted to fix our problems very fast. Therefore, we ask somebody to pray for us. For it's a very good thing. But when we pray, when you pray for yourself, the intensity of the issue, the intensity of the problem, you are the person who is experienced. So, your prayer is very, very important. When you pray, when you lift your voice, when you lift your voices, when you began to pray, we know that the prayer which comes from the bottom of your heart, with all that agony, with all that pain, with all that urgency, when you pray, definitely there will be an answer because God loves to hear from your mouth that. So when you are troubled, go to your father, run to your father. He will run to you. That is our Heavenly Father. He loves you so much. So don't stop praying. When you are in deep problem, when you are deeply troubled, the person who can understand you completely, it is your Heavenly Father, your Creator, your loving Father. So run to Him. Explain to Him. Go to Him as you are. He will accept you as you are. You no need to have the big, big vocabulary to pray, to explain your issues to your Heavenly Father. You no need to be so articulative in your prayers. Open your heart. How you feel, share with your Heavenly Father. That's what it says. When you pray, Jesus loves to hear that. Through Jesus Christ, you have the access to the throne of grace. That's what the Bible says. I can come to the throne of grace without condemnation. God is not going to judge you. Come just as you are. And He will give you an answer. He will give you comfort. He will give you counseling. He is ready to help you, ready to help you. So take some time, some private time to be alone with your Heavenly Father. Pour out your heart before Him. As Jeremiah says, you call upon him, he will answer. It is you who have to call upon his name. Depend on him. When you depend on others, it's good. But as you depend upon him for your answers, for the solutions, when you come personally to the throne of grace, that makes much difference, dear brothers and sisters. Because he loves you. You are the apple of his eyes. You are highly forward. You are the beloved. You are accepted in the beloved. So he loves to hear from you. So today morning, what is that problem which troubles you? What is that issues? Because of that, you are deeply troubled today morning. 
come to him come to him ask you share to him share with him share with him he is your companion the, the fellowship of the holy spirit the communion of the holy spirit is with you forever he never leaves you he neither forsake he never leaves you on the way he never blames you he sticks with you in your things and thing hallelujah so come to him as you are lift up your voice explain to him if you are not lift your voice explain to him what are the manner you want to explain sit with him sit with him today morning the, the issues which are troubled in the offices in your colleges in your schools if you are in the hospital bed wherever you are at your home trouble is at your home go to your heavenly father he is ready to listen to you his ears are always inclined to your prayers hallelujah shall we pray together father we thank you and we praise you lord we glorify your name lord yes lord you are a good good father who loves to hear from us lord help us to come to you as we are lord help us to pour out our hearts our pain our trouble our agonies our issues father god our conflicts father god our doubts lord everything we are coming to you with as we are lord and we know that father god through jesus christ we have the access to the throne of grace we thank you we praise you for the loving thank you for the supreme love lord we thank you we glorify you we thank you we glorify your name because the glory and the honor belongs to you thank you for loving us thank you for encouraging us thank you for counseling us thank you for comforting us thank you for uh, making us as we are today lord we thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you thousand tongues are not enough to glorify your name thousand tongues are not enough to thank you lord we come to you today as we are with all our our troubles lord and you are the best person who can understand us lord you are the god who can solve our issues you are the god who can bring the answers into our situations nobody else lord nobody else father god we depend upon you father god we depend upon you completely lord where we have the answers where there is no criticism where there is no judgment but you understand us as we are We thank you and we praise you. The glory, the honor belongs to you, to you alone, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come to your heavenly Father as you are. He is ready to listen to you. So, have a blessed day.